Adventures, I'm Karen Ahmed. Today we're making a Goan style beef roulade. Now, I wasn't intending to make this recipe at all today. I was actually going to make something else, but somebody forgot to bring all the ingredients. Okay, that somebody was me. But I saw a steak staring at me in the face and I thought, you know what, it's a little bit thicker than what I want, but I'm gonna make it work anyway. Now, a roulade is known by so many different names. It's called involtini, beef olives, beef rolls, and it's made all over the world in very, very different ways. Mine is going to be smothered in a delicious homemade spice blend. I'm then going to roll it up together with some bacon, a potato matchstick, and a mixture of onion, chilies, and coriander. I'm gonna roll this up, I'm gonna sear it and simmer it in a delicious gravy. I can't wait to share this recipe with you. Before I go any further, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel. I upload new videos every week. Also ring the bell, that's YouTube's new bell icon that will notify you every time I upload a new video. Now let's get rolling. Let's start with the masala or spice paste. I've got eight Kashmiri chilies here and I've just broken them in half to remove the seeds. Most of the Indian stores today carry Kashmiri chilies. If you can't find these, you can substitute any other dried chili, but just use a little bit less as Kashmiri chilies are not that spicy. You can also substitute about seven teaspoons of chili powder. I'm just going to process this first. And next, I'm going to add one teaspoon of black peppercorns together with one teaspoon of cumin seeds. I also have some whole spices here, about a two inch stick of cinnamon and six cloves. I like to first grind all of my powdered spices before adding any of my wet ingredients. You don't have to do this this way. This is just how my mom used to do it and it's really stuck with me. Now this is ground fairly well, so I'm going to add six cloves of garlic, a two inch piece of ginger that I just sliced. I'm also going to add one teaspoon of coarse salt this helps to grind it, but it also helps to preserve the spice blend if I want to store it for later. I'm also going to add three tablespoons of vinegar. I'm using goa vinegar, but you can also use red wine or malt vinegar. Those work really well. Now this is what makes this spice blend uniquely going. This is looking good, but I'm looking for a smoother blend, so I'm going to just let this run a little bit longer. If your masala is too thick, you can add a little bit more vinegar or a little bit of water. Now, as I mentioned before, I had bought this piece of meat. This is a 1.72 pound. That's roughly about 780 grams of beef blade steak for another recipe, but it didn't quite work out. So I decided to make the roulade instead. To flatten this out, I'm going to pound this with a meat mallet. Now for best results, you have to get your beef pre-sliced from the butcher, much thinner than this, and try to pick a cut with not too much deep marbling like the steak I purchased. Cuts that work well are undercut and skirt steak. Some people like to use prepared beef carpaccio. You can also use the frozen uncooked beef slices that are available for hot pot. Personally, I like to go to my butcher and get a nice thin slice that I can work with. This steak is almost double the thickness that I need, so I'm just going to keep pounding on this. This is also a great stress reliever. I'm now going to transfer my steak to another platter so I can marinate it. I'm going to add two teaspoons of that prepared spice blend. I'm just going to rub it on one side, remove the excess and spread it over the other side. Leave this for about 30 to 60 minutes for the masala to seep into the meat. I'm now ready to roll. I have some turkey bacon here, some potato sticks, and a mixture of finely diced onion, green chilies, and coriander. Since I have an odd shaped steak here, I'm going to be very strategic about how I'm going to cut it. Using the bacon as my guide, I'm going to cut the steak into a strip. Now I've cut this strip a bit smaller as I'm going to pound it out to make this a little bit thinner. I'm now going to pound this a little bit more. It's much easier when you work on a strip of meat. I'm going to lay down the bacon. Don't worry about the bits and pieces that are left over. We will talk about those later. The potato stick and I'm going to sprinkle with the onion, chili and coriander mixture. Pra você ficar legal E a noite vai chegando Levantando seu astral Vem que a festa tá bonita 
pra você ficar legal. E a noite vai chegando. You could either use a toothpick to secure it or some string. Pra você ficar legal. E a noite vai chegando. Levantando o seu sal. I'm just going to trim off the excess potato and the first roll is ready. I'm going to work on the next one and I'm going to keep going. For some pieces, you may need two pieces of kitchen string to secure. Now don't worry about all the remnants. After we're done making the roulade, I'm going to make a delicious leftover chili fry. In a saute pan, I'm going to add a quarter cup of oil and I'm just going to saute the roulades till you get a nice sear on all sides. Next, I'm going to add all of the onion, chili and coriander mixture that I have left over. I had finely diced about a half cup of onion with two tablespoons each of green chili and coriander. Once the onions have a bit of color, I'm going to add the rest of the spice blend. This is roughly about four tablespoons and I'm going to saute it. I'm also going to add one and a half cup of fresh pureed tomatoes. Now these are tomatoes that I've blanched, skinned and pureed. I've also added a cup of water to my food processor to free all of that residual spice blend and I'm going to pour that in as well. Bring this to a boil and place the seared roulade in the pot and cover to allow the beef to slow cook so it's nice and tender. This will need to cook slow and low for about 20 to 30 minutes as you're also looking to cook the inner potato. Be sure to flip the rolls over halfway so they cook evenly on both sides. While this is slow cooking, I'm going to work on the leftover chili fry. Cube the leftover beef and potato and in a saute pan, I'm going to heat up some oil and I'm going to add the potato first. And then I'm going to quickly follow this with the beef and whatever onion and chili mixture that's stuck on it. Add some salt and one teaspoon of chili powder and I'm going to allow it to cook. In about 10 minutes, you have an absolutely delicious chili fry. By now, the beef rolls are nice and tender. I'm going to take the rolls out. I'm just going to allow them to cool before I remove the toothpicks and string. This is ready to serve and Instagram perfect. Thank you so much for joining me on Caribbean Spit Adventures. I really enjoyed sharing this very special recipe with you. It truly is delicious. Please make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. Do share my channel and my videos with your family and friends. Help me get the word out. I really hope to hit 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year and you can help me get there. Also, make sure to ring the bell, that's YouTube's new bell icon that will notify you every time I upload a new video. And tell me what you think about my videos. Leave me a comment below. I love hearing from you. Follow me on all my social channels. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, and even Snapchat. Till I see you next time, do take care guys. Happy eating, bye. Help me get the word out. I'm trying to get 50,000 subscribers by the end. Blah. Okay, that was good. <laughs>